Pumeza Jekekba is HIV positive and says she often goes to bed hungry. She's one of millions of people in South Africa cutting back on meal portions and how often they feed their children. We ask, Mommy, I want your food because you're very hungry. I say I can't do otherwise because I've got no food there. More than 60% of South Africans live in urban areas. Malnutrition rates are increasing because of growing poverty and unemployment. We know that households spend an awful lot of money on, on food. The poorest third of our households were spending more than half of their income on food. And when you start to factor in things like the rising fuel prices, rising electricity prices, rising paraffin prices, more and more households are, are struggling to, to access enough. Researchers say more than 12 million people nationwide need help, many of them children. This despite South Africa having a well-developed agricultural sector. The problem is access to adequate nutrition, not the availability of food. But fresh, healthy food is often too expensive for the poor to afford. Redistributing food that's reached its sell-by date, but not its use-by date, is one way of feeding the hungry. This is whatever supermarkets and wholesalers couldn't sell and would otherwise have thrown away. But not enough is being brought in. We are helping about 400,000 people, so that's, that's a nice number to think that we are feeding 400,000 people with food that would otherwise be destined for landfill is extraordinary. Uh, but if you look on the other hand, as, an, as a nation, we have 12 million food insecure people. Food banks do an exceptional work to get food to half a million people. We need to get to 12 million. The reused food is being taken to needy families. Economists warn 2013 will be a tough year economically for South Africans. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.